Morning and welcome back. I sure am glad you're here. Why? Because today we're going to learn that words mean things, which is to say we've got some vocabulary for a story we're about to read. It's called The Myth of Arachne. Words mean things, and we've got to figure out those meanings, so let's get to it. The first word we have we're going to learn to understand our story is the word obscure. Now, instead of just feeding the definitions, what I'm going to do is up there, about where it says examples and sentences, you're going to see the uh, word used in two sentences, and then you're going to try and figure out what it means. This is better for brain power, I think. So, for obscure, compared to Hollywood, California, or New York City, Jerome is an obscure city. Dwayne Johnson and Robert Downey Jr. are very famous, while other actors are more obscure. So what do you think obscure means? Not well known, very well known, or extremely interesting? I will give you 10 seconds to decide. Just try plugging those in. Let's see how that works. What do you think? What does obscure mean? I would say if you said... A, not well-known, because Jerome's not well-known compared to New York. And showing Dwayne Johnson and Robert Downey Jr. are the more famous actors. Others are a little more obscure, not as well-known. So obscure, not well-known. And because it describes a noun, what kind of word does that make it? Adjective. See it right down there. Yeah. If you see here, that's a pretty obscure comic book. It's called Squirrel Girl. Because you never heard of it, it's obscure. In Arachne, we're going to learn that she lived in an obscure little village. So she lived in a not well-known little village. Now we have indignantly. Look at a couple sentences. When I'm in charge of my sister, she whines indignantly. The students argued indignantly when the teacher made us all stay late. I'm sure it's happened. So indignantly means relaxed and content. Angry over something that's unfair or annoyed with everything. Give you five seconds to decide on that one. Indignantly is when you get angry over something that is unfair, like when you're in charge of your siblings. This describes a verb. Adjectives describe nouns, but what describes a verb? Adverbs. Indignantly is an adverb. And there is someone looking quite indignant. And we're going to learn Arachne. It says, therefore, when she heard the murmur, she would stop her work and turn around indignantly to say, with my own ten fingers, I gained this skill. So we're going to learn that she's pretty angry over something she thinks isn't fair. Obstinacy. I knew I was wrong, but my obstinacy stopped me from apologizing. Because of my cat's obstinacy, I can't get him in the bath. You ever tried? So obstinacy can mean a person with siblings. Obstinacy can be willing to listen to others, or obstinacy could mean not willing to change behavior. Give you five seconds to pick. Obstinacy, not willing to change behavior. Some people are bad at apologizing, and cats are just stubborn. And obstinacy, it's an idea. It's a thing in your head. What kind of word is a person, place, or thing that makes obstinacy a noun? Titanic. They had obstinacy. They were told to turn around, not sail into the iceberg field. They did anyway. In Arachne, we're going to learn that she says she pressed her lips together in obstinacy. So at some point, our main character is unwilling to change a behavior of hers. Just like on the Titanic. That's some obstinacy. Strive. I wouldn't be surprised if you heard this one before, but sentence examples. The Avengers had to strive to finally beat Thanos. Every football team has to strive to make it to the Super Bowl. It's not as easy as it looks, Patriots. So, strive means to work hard or struggle, to give up, or to play football. So I'll give you five seconds to set decide what you believe strive means. Strive. Every team has to 
work hard or struggle to make it to the Super Bowl. The Avengers had to work hard or struggle to finally beat Thanos. Awesome movie. Now, strive is an action. What type of word is an action? <sighs> Verb. There's Scoot from Rogue Wave. She had to strive to escape from the ship. She had to work hard or struggle to get out of there. In Arachne, we're going to find that mortals had tried to strive with gods. They worked hard or struggled against gods. Let's see what happens there. Our last word is descendants. We're all descendants of our grandparents. In a monarchy, a king's descendants eventually inherit the throne. So descendants are people with superpowers, ancient royal people, or descendants are people who come after. Give me five seconds to think about that one and see what you think. Descendants, well, your grandparents were born before you, and when a king's gone, then their children get to be in charge. So descendants are people who come after. They descend from you. Now, what kind of word is it? Well, what type of word is a person, place, or thing? That makes descendants a noun, specifically a plural noun, because descendants is more than one. You should know this by now. Now, these are some of the first school children ever. They came before you, and there's their classroom. Looks very different from ours. In a way, you are their descendants. You came after them. Now, we're going to find someone says to our main character, who is named Arachne, live on and spin, both you and your descendants. So what she's being told, live on and spin, both you and the people who come after you. Now, have a little activity today. It's called Balloon Pop. And it looks like this. You're going to be asked a question, a vocabulary word. Pop the balloon that you believe is right and keep track of your score. It will show you at the end there, because that's going to be important when you get to today's ticket. Arachne, Greek myth retold by Olivia E. Coolidge. You're going to work with the vocabulary words. And as you do those, just know that you got this. I shall see you next time.